I know that I'm a little bit late to the party about this Hercules revamp, and I've heard that he's quite the assassin right now. But I gotta say, even before the revamp, I always thought that he was still pretty scary back then, especially when the opponents have tons of squishies. It's always good news when the roamer helps with the buff at the start of the game. That usually means he knows the basics of the game. Okay, maybe he just wasn't paying attention because his parents were asking him to throw away the trash or something like that. Alrighty, time to uninstall the game and play some solo games like Raid Shadow Legends or Clash of Clans. I'm a little bit desperate now. We need to do something extraordinary to recover from this tragedy. If it wasn't because of this turnaround, we probably would have been super screwed going forward. I would have been extremely underfed while their Ying would be at level 4, ganking my allies non-stop and just snowball from there. Now I'm the one doing the ganking because we somehow managed to recover from the early tragedy. Let's get the freebie before taking the turtle. I saw they're younger in the mid lane, that means I could probably save my retribution here. If they kill me and get the shutdown kill, they could easily turn this around, so let's not throw the game now. Gotta avenge my fallen comrades. Their jungler is dead, so that means I could save my retribution again. I am glad that this happened, because now this can be used as a prime example 
of why you should never let your guard down. Anyway, now Vale will have a perma target on his head. Okay, there the execution was a bit off. Sh bad timing. Well, it doesn't seem like we are going to cruise this one. Honestly, not sure what I was thinking here, but it is what it is. Minotaur is guaranteed to die, so I'll go for Leslie instead. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like his second skill deals a little bit less damage after a revamp. Can somebody confirm? Remember, an assassin's playstyle is all about waiting for the right timing to engage. Three of them are dead, and x is top. I can just ignore the tank and keep attacking the inhibitor. Minitor's ult has a long cooldown, so that was another small victory. Little things like this matter. Overall, this game wasn't that challenging. Except that early tragedy. Also, I think just one game won't be enough to really showcase how strong or weak he is after a revamp. So let's play one more. Why do roamers keep last hitting the creeps? And if you don't know why you shouldn't last hit the creeps as the roamer, you see this jungle icon. The jungler needs to last hit the creeps to get his stacks. Was hoping to get a quick first blood, but I delayed my farm instead.
whenever you're about to gank, make it a habit to use the ping and alert your teammates about your intention. Imagine if Helgor's second skill can affect turrets like Minsitar's. Do you think that'll be too broken? Before taking the turtle, let's see if we can reduce their number so it'll be easier to take the turtle afterwards. Disaster. If your team has the number advantage and you are not the jungler, just give vision and secure the perimeter. You don't want to leave it to a 50 50 chance. If you know that the enemy's hero has a dash skill, Sometimes you can be patient and just wait for them to use their dash first and then you can use yours. Look how am I anticipating Alice Blink. How the frick did he not die there? Second chance to win the 50 50. Our cycle is so brave going one before. Defending this will be very tricky. I think that if Gato turned around and attacked me, instead of kept running, he had a better chance of turning the table. I wonder if during his dash animation I also used dash, if that would drag him back to my turret. I think it's possible, because his time was a bit off, probably too early. Their jungler is in the bottom lane, that means free buff. Okay, this was pretty dumb of me, XT.
It's alright. Now the game just became a little more interesting, right? Smiley face. Okay, maybe the game has become a little bit too interesting now. We cannot continue throwing, because we are not that far ahead anymore. Hellcore all does have a long cooldown, so sometimes you want to save it if you think your first and second skill should be enough to secure the kill. Remember, always kill the main damage dealer first. Honestly, I could have just ended the game here, but I was just too bloodthirsty. I wanted more kills, sad face. Imagine if we lose now because of this greediness. It would be quite poetic, wouldn't it? I wonder if Leslie Ault reveals Helcor's position during his ult. Why did I do this? Why did she do that? Sometimes there's just no answer. Okay, it seems like they are most likely gonna try to take the Lord now, since they got the number advantage. It is time to use Helcor's strength to his maximum potential and do his ultimate move. I'm gonna use my ult and last hit the Lord to save the day. Of course not, there's even a better plan. Patience, gotta serve the situation first. The most satisfying way to win and the worst way to lose. I've been on both ends so I know how it feels. Anyway, what do you guys think about a new revamp Hellcourt? Better, worse or the same? I personally think that he's pretty solid, 
but I would recommend to check the opponent's composition first before making a decision to play him. If they are too tanky, I think he's gonna struggle a bit more. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see ya.